What I wanted to show you today on the CircuitPython Parsec is how to use the ANSI escape codes inside of CircuitPython. So this is a library from the community bundle, which I've put the URL up at the top there, if you can see that. You can get it, however, just by, if you have CircuitP installed, you can type CircuitP install ANSI, A-N-S-I, underscore escape, underscore code. That will install the library on the current CircuitPython board that you have plugged in. The way that you use this and the reason you use this is to do things such as coloring your text inside of the serial REPL output, just like any kind of a traditional terminal. So what you can see here is that I'm using it to color code some of the events that I'm debugging. So as I press keys on my keypad here, you can see I get this little background color of cyan. When I release a key, I'm, I'm uh, creating kind of a blue or purple color on the text, except for this one, which shows up as pink. So imagine you're doing some complex debugging. It can be nice to be able to color code things using the ANSI escape codes. So the way this works, I have imported ANSI escape code as terminal. And then when I go to print, I'm using the same print command as usual, but you can see right here, here's an example. When I press a key down, I'm saying print and then terminal.ansicolors bold. So I'm bolding the type. Terminal ANSI colors BG background is cyan. So that's how I'm getting that light blue color. And then the things I wanted to print, in this case, the, uh, the number of the key that I'm pressing. And then I'm resetting that so that it doesn't just leave the rest of all of the things that I do in the terminal in this bolded and cyan background. Now, when I release, I'm doing a similar sort of thing. I'm saying, when I release a key, we're gonna, if the key is this zero key, change the color of the foreground to pink, ansicolor.fg.pink, and then I'm resetting that. On the other ones, I'm setting those to blue. And that is how you can use ANSI escape codes inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.